<laughs> hey guys, long time no vlog. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, you don't know because days are fast. But um, I started my day a long time ago. I had a rather intense workout session today. Let me tell you guys, my body is in pain. I'm struggling to survive. But yeah, I had a very good session. Tomorrow is the Creators Connect. And um, I'm speaking on a panel. I believe I'm speaking alongside Miss Z online. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing preps. I already had an outfit custom made by Deborah, of course. I already picked that up. I'm just taking it to the dry cleaners now. I also stopped by the shop right after gym because I had to do to mom kule for under the wig. My hair was looking crazy. So I did that. And I'm dropping this off at the dry cleaners. And then, um, from the dry cleaners, I'm going to get my nails done because my nails are crusty and dusty. So despite me not vlogging, I'm just going to pretend like I have been vlogging and we're just going to carry on. Um, and I'm not going to be wrong. Let me just turn here. Yeah. I'm wearing little shorts. <laughs> It's like no more way to wear shorts in the gym, but as soon as you come out, it's like, oh my god, you're naked. But anyways, I just need to drop this off at the dry cleaners and go do my nose real quick. Okay, guys, I managed to take my outfit to the dry cleaners. I took a nap. <laughs> at the nail parlor. At the nail parlor. And now we're about to change my old set and do a brand new one. So let me do a transition. For a clean sweep, you get mopped home. My niggas airing that. married to the mob, Pressure. Thank you. All right, no problem. So this first panel discussion is called uh, Zambia Unlocked, uh, building a brand within a Zambian context. We normally use like um, South Africa as a reference, the UK, the US, but um, how do you build a brand, a personal brand or a content brand um, in a Zambia? Before some of us even had smartphones, Natasha Vandermas, over to you, darling. Thank you so much, Tim Tim, Christina, Saxena. Everybody looks so good. <laughs> By the way, I'm so shy, but anyways, let me continue. So how I started my content creation was because I am above everything. Above everything, I am um, I'm an entrepreneur. But at the time that I was... Hello? At the time that I was starting my business, I couldn't afford paying for influencers. So I decided to make the executive decision. And so that's how I started. I grew my number so that I could promote my own business above anything else. And then everything just followed naturally. So for me, I guess you can call it selfish, but I did it because I was trying to grow my own business. And oh, so much. I have a hair salon. I sell clothes. I'm a florist. I also do deco for events. Basically, wherever I can put my hand to have a honest source of income, I'm gonna do it. Also, we want the shameless plug. So when you tell us the businesses, tell us the names so that we follow them and patronize the businesses. Yes, please. So there's Wigs by Emma, Emma the florist, her headpiece and things, and Emma's collection. All right, thank you for that, Emma kind of how I got into the space. The more I watched content, the more I wanted to be a part of those communities. So that I eventually decided to start my own YouTube channel and I ventured from beauty to lifestyle and just kind of sharing my everyday bits of If you are 50, I have like 110. Um, but what I will say though is for me, my biggest challenge is coming into a space and trying to mingle with people who are already established. So let's say there are so many people who want to become influencers and want to be in that space, but my challenge was fitting in. So that was one of my biggest things of just feeling like, oh, I don't belong here. I don't, I'm not as big as these guys. I don't have the big numbers, the big brand deals and all that stuff. That was one of my challenges in the beginning. And then after the fact, it's also trying to separate who you are as a person and understanding that Instagram is yeah you're sharing your life but for us it's also a business so trying to differentiate the two and trying to find a healthy balance between the two 
is something that to today I'm still struggling with. It's like kind of like a learn as you go type of thing. Among the businesses, which one have you struggled with like the most and which which struggle was it and how did you get out of it? My personal businesses? Yeah. Oh. Whether it's the hair, the flowers. Well, I think it's going to be oh, I <laughs> um, I think my biggest one is probably going to be the market is saturated at the end of the day. So trying to find yourself a client, it's like why is somebody going to buy the same type of dress from you and not the next person? So trying to find what sets me apart in terms of my business, I think has been the hardest part and it's still the hardest part to you today because again, it's so saturated, there's so many of us, but that still doesn't mean that there's no room for all of us. It just means you have to fight a lot harder to be seen. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, piece of advice would probably be to the smaller content creator. Somebody who's trying to push out content, create content, doesn't have people who are rushing to manage them, doesn't have deals, doesn't have views, doesn't have likes, comments, and all of that stuff. I was equally in that position. I promise you, I think like prior to last year, I doubt if people really knew who I was. So it really does happen overnight. It just takes a lot of pushing from you. So it doesn't matter that you're not getting all those likes and comments and all of that stuff right away. Eventually it's going to come because passion speaks for itself. And when your time does come, you will find yourself in positions where you're not even sending pitches. You're not asking for collabs. They are coming to you because it's from you. So don't give up. Don't feel like followers. I only have my 2,000. That 2,000 believes in you and sees something in you. So push for that 2,000 and your time will come. have multiple conversations with you guys pending and i apologize <laughs> because my vlogging is just rubbish but before we get to that before i go in the car i got this protein shake when i just started going to active when i just started going to the gym that i go to now and that was i don't know how many months ago and i haven't had it the reason why i haven't had it is because i first bought it without consulting anyone and then i showed it to my then gym partner and then he had showed me how this tastes horrible and also how people say that it makes you gain weight because this is vegan, okay? So because now, upon me buying and posting that I bought, people are saying all these things about it. I just didn't bother to take it. But now, after going to the gym a little bit longer, after going to the gym a little bit longer, I'm so scared. After going to the gym a little bit longer, and kind of understanding the importance of protein. I mean, it's not bad. I need protein because I'm trying to grow my glutes. So yeah, it's not horrible. It's bearable. I haven't been taking enough protein. So I said, ah, I'm going to first finish this. Be the own, my own judge. I just don't want to gain weight. But I do want to... Okay, no, let me be serious. So two scoops for one serving. Yeah, and then shake well. I can have it one to two times a day. Have this particular protein shake. And we're gonna see what's up. Oh, I'm trying to see what's up. <laughs> so that's one scoop. one scoop and 
has two scoops now all the gym people who are watching this i just reckon you just close your eyes or stop watching here because i know for a fact that what i'm okay it's i don't think it's bad it's just that it was controversial because you see like when you're going to the gym there are a lot of supplements that you have to take right so i was watching how to make it easier and this person mixed her creatine with her protein shake and then just drank it as one as compared to me making a protein shake and i have to drink it and then me making my creatine and i have to drink it i'm just not in the mood for that so what i'm doing now and i don't want to be judged what if this tastes like shit should i just take one at a time you know what i'm new to this let me take one at a time hold on okay i've changed my mind i've made the decision that i'm just going to take one thing at a time it's just that i don't want to have to keep having to pee that's my thing I also got this creatine when i bought this creatine i thought it was uh i thought it was a pre-workout so even was so excited that oh, i have a big ass bottle of pre-workout but it ended up not being that and it's just been seated so this one says take two scoops with 400 ml of water what i was about to do is mix my protein shake with this creatine but then this is like orange flavor and this is vegan da, 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 da. i'm not trying to shit my pants if i'm being honest <laughs> so i'm just going to take one at a time it's just that i hate that i'm probably going to have to pee so freaking much i hate that this is fine it literally just tastes like orange juice it's not bad this I can get used to. This I swear. And if you're wondering why I'm going to the shop in a bonnet, it's because my all my wigs are in very poor condition. They're in the car. They're going to get straightened at the shop. I don't have the time to do it here. Um. So yeah, I live a few minutes away from my shop. So just call me Bonita because I'm not gonna wear none of those wigs on my head, looking all crusty and dusty. Now. We finish off the protein shake and I go to the cup. It's said to shake. Pray to God, this don't taste like horse shit. <laughs> okay, I spilled all of the powder here. Great. Let's try. Are we ready? It's really not bad at all. I think it's like an acquired taste, but I won't have a hard time liking this. Actually, I do hi again how's everybody doing so i was saying my vlogging is very um commotion like it's very just i don't know i don't know what the problem is okay i'm going through a lot i'm going through so much stress and i hate it when i'm stressed because my skin breaks out as you can this is even healing guys my skin broke out bad i feel like i'm starting again from scratch that's besides the point and also i store a lot of fat so I gain weight when I'm stressed, basically. But enough of that, okay? I wanted to apologize for my shit vlogging, but I really, really, really thought it was important that I talk about the creators connect because so much happened that day and it was just like such a 360 moment for me first of all i learned so much i've attended events where you are meant to learn stuff but it ended up just being not that you don't really learn much almost just seems like it's just like oh, click click pictures pictures but no i learned so much and on the specific panel i was with i was with z online um if you guys really know me and i think i've talked about this and maybe like a few vlogs back she is one of the biggest reasons why i decided to do youtube watching her videos gave me the confidence to create my own videos so being like on a panel with her and just getting to actually talk to her and just like give her a hug or just tell her i i had like a moment to actually just tell her how much her content has impacted me personally and that was so filling for my soul 
-hmm. not only that i got to meet patricia bright i got to meet my sex so like it was just a great event and just like full circle moment for me i felt so honored and so humbled to just even just be put in the same position as those people because I look up to everyone everyone I was on that panel with I follow I've learned something from and just knowing that I'm one of them just made me feel like I belong one of my managers always tells me to not like downplay myself because he always says if you're speaking somewhere if you're somewhere it's because you're meant to be there you know you've earned the right to be there and like I let me tell you the entire time like ask Muchimba there was a point I had to go in the bathroom because I was holding back my tears so 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 much to a point where I just bored and cried because you guys know that I have like worked hard and just like really like pushed myself to be in the position that I'm in now and to be seen especially to that level like you guys that's Patricia Bright like you're speaking at the same event that Patricia Bright is speaking at like it was so much for me. It was so heartwarming. I've just like, I don't even know. Till today, I can't put it in words. When I go back and I look at the pictures and I watch the videos, it's like, oh my God, this really happened. And you know, like people after the fact, I was so nervous. You know, you guys know I have this thing of playing small. I was so nervous the entire time. But then after the fact, even my manager just came like, oh, you were not nervous today. You were not scared today. You were not this today. You did so well. It was just like, I can't believe I actually did that. Like, I just felt like so accomplished. I'm so grateful for Time Media for giving me even just the opportunity to learn from people like that. That was such an amazing event. I think it's the best event I've ever attended. And I've attended a lot of events. But because of how impactful it was and how much I learned and how I just felt in that moment, that's like one of the highlights of my life i promise you that day was one of the highlights of my life i cried so much i cried when i came back home i just i was you guys know me i'm a baby girl i'm a baby girl <laughs> i cry about everything and yeah so i just cried and i just really like let it all out and it was great and i'm just again so thankful to those guys and just like so happy to this day oh, so i just needed to give you guys context because i didn't really talk to you guys much before that um yeah so this is me like maybe two three days have passed since and yeah you guys are gonna see a lot more of me on youtube and you should thank time media for taking me to that event and learning everything that i learned and implementing it and making sure i'm consistent on this app and every single app and also before i leave because i have to rush i'm going to work actually but before i leave i want to say this none of these opportunities i would get if i wasn't blessed to have your support you you watching this i love you and i am so grateful for you you could be watching other people you could be supporting other people but you choose me every single time and i am beyond grateful for you you don't understand i love you so much all right let me rush to work i'm even getting calls see you at the shop hey guys what is up i hope everybody is doing well today i am in such a good mood today because i had not one but two very productive sessions when i went to the gym i went for a boxing class had a really intense boxing class and then last minute i decided to strength train so i did a full body workout at my old gym i mean at my actual gym then i came to I came to drop off something at my own gym and then of course it's like this is family here <laughs> so they made me do another workout so i'm just like sitting here chilling waiting for them to finish because um they were saying that they want to go grab lunch so this is me just chilling outside taking a breather i'm considering just going home for a bit while they're still here freshen up the fastest and then just grab a meal with them because they don't have anything to do until a little bit later to, uh, my friend's friend, so she's like a mutual friend, um, is having a. I don't know if her actual birthday is today, but her birthday celebration is today, and I'm also going to be going. But that's not until much later in the day, so I have that kind of free space. And yeah, maybe just make a quick stop by the store, nothing hectic, but yeah. Those are the vibes I just wanted to update you. And yeah, that's it. I'm tired. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I don't remember where I left off the vlog. I think I was training still. I was here training. Um, but I ended up having a long day running some errands and just like, you know, existing in this world. I didn't really do much, much, much like that. 
um i kind of remember how i mentioned i kind of overdid it because i trained i did full body at my gym and then i came here and i trained again i woke up and my leg was in pain when i pain my leg was in pain and i was walking in and kind of saw this one i noticed that it's actually swollen but i'm still going to do a session i'm just either going to do free weight or really really lightweight because i still want to do something i'm already here but then i think i'm going to rest for the rest of the day because my, my body is very 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 tired but i just wanted to check in <laughs> my friends are already here so i'm doing the session guys the lighting is horrible i've tried to turn on these lights but it's just not working i am so tired but i'm currently at east park i was invited for tim's um like i think it's like either re releasing concert like the album that he's released the gospel album that he's released excuse me i was invited to it i was very tired and i almost didn't make it but the lady who invited me she i met her at one of my boxing classes she has a store at east park but she also does event management and i have a very soft spot for her so i just said i can't not show up regardless of how i feel i'm just going to try to put a smile on my face and be as supportive towards her as she is towards me so i'm currently at east park i just want to listen to the vibes chill relax and then i am going to head home so today is saturday um i'm hoping that i'll be able to edit this vlog by the time i'm home although i don't know how long i'm going to be here for but i'm hoping i'll be able to edit it so that i can post on sunday fingers crossed so yeah let me go in and see what this is all about <laughs> 